Hey guys, hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I wanted to um, talk to you guys about something today. It's called Kappa. It's not, uh, it's not a famous Arnold Schwarzenegger quote like, hey, get to the chopper. No, I wish it was. It's something much more serious for YouTube and everybody's talking about it. Um, it's about advertising and it's also about you know determining whether if our content is made for children or if it's made for an adult audience because YouTube um, they got fined I believe 170 million dollars because they would let as far as I know they would let ads um, show up on children's videos too like inappropriate ads that some parents um, complained about like maybe beer ads or something on uh, children's accounts which I think I, I sat and I thought about it and I had to go through all of my content that I made before and that I'm making now and I have to put not for children or for children which honestly every bit of content that I've ever made is not really for a child and by child they mean someone 13 years of age and under it's really been meant for you know older people um, but you know their diff definition that they give you for you to determine if your own content is made for children or not is kind of wishy-washy kind of in a gray area and that's got a lot of people nervous anxiety built up and some people are quitting YouTube, some people are um, they're closing their channels and everything else. Because you see, people who made things like arts and crafts or Legos, somebody may have a Lego channel and it's definitely made for kids, uh, they're going to lose um, a lot of revenue, like I think up to 90% of their revenue, they won't be able to... Uh, do anything like save videos, uh, a shout out, like a sub subscription, I believe, tab. A lot of things are just not going to be available to the people who make content for kids. And, um, you know, we live in America where we have, fr we have freedom of speech and we should have freedom to be us or me or the magic word is you, YouTube. You know, that is kind of a freedom to express ourselves. And I think COPPA is not really 100% the enemy, and I don't think YouTube is. I, th I think what has happened is that neither one of those organizations have done their job. I don't think YouTube has done their job, and I don't think the FTC has done their job. I think. A good idea of how to fix this problem right now every youtuber should before this takes effect and I'll put the petitions in the comment box so that we're not silenced so that we don't have to change to suit the people so that we don't have to be afraid because there's a squirrel in the background of one of our videos that that could be child uh, made for children you know, it says celebrities, things child children like. You know, some children like to drink Jack Daniels. Not my children, of course, but, you know, so are they going to say that somebody drinking Jack Daniels in a video is made for children? You see, there's just a gray area. It says activities that children like would be considered made for children. And, you know, it's just... There is no clear cut of a definition. And what's going to happen if you're found in violation? Is the FTC going to get in trouble? Is YouTube going to get in trouble? No. We, you and me, the people who make content for YouTube, could get fined up to $42,000 per video. Per video. You know, it's that's outrageous. I don't think anybody could really handle too much of that. And it's it's going to cripple the way 
you know, I think the way that YouTube will work if something's not done. And here's what I think should be done. And again, guys, this is just my opinion. Uh, I think they could have an, you know, kind of of the age limit for YouTube and just have the YouTube app for kids. And that way that that would cover YouTube with the FTC and that would also cover us uh, the content creators then we could you know have a normal eight you know 18 plus YouTube account and we could have a lot more freedom of what we make in our content um, you know and then the people that you know want to make content for kids they could have an app that is content for kids you know they YouTube for kids now there's still a problem though there are some very talented people that make videos for kids and they put a lot of time into it and they just like working with kids so the problem would still be that they don't get any revenue for their efforts even if they did um, go to a kids only YouTube app well that could be fixed easily. I mean, during um, TV studios for years have, you know, they put on, like, during certain hours of the day, they know what their audience is, and then they'll put out appropriate commercials. So basically what I'm getting at is, guys, is for YouTube for Kids, they could come out with a totally different commercial system that are aimed for kids. You know, toys, uh, like Kellogg's, uh, cereal, uh, food, Pop-Tarts, uh, Disney, you know, they need to get all of these commercials together and monetize the kids part of YouTube and keep that separate, okay? And that way these kids aren't seeing anything inappropriate. And then over here on this side, where you need to be, uh, you know, 18 or maybe 16, probably 18, you know, they, they could have the regular YouTube and, you know, have like the regular commercials that, you know, that does have beer that, you know, that has things that, you know, that may not be appropriate that was complained about for, you know, the kids. And this way, everybody would be a winner. You know, the FTC wouldn't have to worry about uh, the kids. Uh, Yahoo wouldn't, uh, Yahoo, Google would not have to be worried about being sued because of YouTube because they would have an app specifically for kids and the two communities would be separated. The content creators on both platforms, you know, for kids and for adults, will have their own commercials specifically made for that target audience and then we all would win and we can be free uh, just like we have freedom of speech we could be free to make whatever content we wanted and I think that is what we should push for and um, I think it would work guideline of what is made for kids and what is not to save us from being falsely accused of a video that they could label that is for kids like if there's a turtle in the background oh that must be for kids if somebody's eating a bowl of Fruit Loops well kids like Fruit Loops or if somebody's eating a pop tart I think you get what I'm saying where does the line begin where does the line end it needs to be drawn okay guys I'm gonna end on that note anyways until next time guys tell me what you think and I'll talk to you later